Hi, this is Igor from hdhead.com and I will show you how to create a progress bar in AvidDS, kind of like a progress bar you see when programs are installing or things are downloading, that, that, that type of thing. We'll do this using expressions in AvidDS, which automates certain things. A good thing for you would be to watch some of the expressions tutorials that I've done a little while back, but even if you haven't seen those, we're not going to go too technical in this tutorial. Here's what the preset does. It just animates a loading progress bar. We'll stop it here. The adjustments for the effect here on the properties panel, you can you can place it wherever you'd like, left or right, up and down. You can scale it down, and you can change the opacity. And uh, also using expressions, this effect is designed in such a way that it opens up at this relative size, no matter what resolution you're working in. If you're working in standard def or high def or 2K, it will always open up at uh, at this relative width. A good thing about this preset is that you don't have to keyframe or animate anything. You just drop it onto a clip and you dial in the frame count. So I determine how long my clip is, go to uh, displays frames, it's 150 frames long and I just dial 150 frames. If I make it shorter than 150 frames then obviously it will finish before the clip is over. Like that. This is accomplished using a token FC, which stands for frame count in expressions. To illustrate how that works, I will apply a DVE onto a white clip and crop it in so we have a white rectangle on the screen. Click on the DVE tab, right click on X, create expression, and type in FC. Apply. At the beginning of the clip, FC returns value zero because that's the that's the zero frame of the clip. As we advance, X is advancing one frame at a time to go up to 90 at the at the end of this 90 frame long clip. FC is causing this little rectangle to move. If you want to make it move faster, we can multiply that by four, for example. Apply. So now it's moving four times as fast. And we can also do other fun stuff with FC. For example, let's right click on Y translation, create expression. We'll insert random custom function and fill in these values. Uh, seed is not really important, so we'll put one in this case. Minimum value for the random number generator will be zero. And then maximum value is going to be FC times four, for example. We'll apply that, and now as we move to the right, the rectangle is jumping higher and higher and higher in a random fashion. Let's look how all that works in our progress bar preset. We'll expand the preset, put it up here. Uh, there's a white generator that feeds both of these DVEs. One DVE creates the border around the effect and the other DVE creates the actual bar. So the second DVE is the bar. Let's open that and take a look. Uh, the crop, right crop, is where the action takes place. So let's right click on that, Expression Editor. So what happens in this expression, FC token is subtracted from the frame count value that we dial in because uh, none of the expression tokens can actually return the length of the clip. That's why we have to let the DS know what the what the clip length is. And we also take into account the X size of the frame to make sure that this effect works in uh, any frame size uh, more or less the same. Uh, we can build it without that as well, but then it would be specific to a certain size and uh, if you try to apply it in standard def, it would not look exactly the same as, as it does in high def. But this way we ensure that it looks the same. And the math is somewhat similar in uh, in this other DV as well. We're not going to get into into great amount of detail there, but you're welcome to download this effect from hdhead.com and modify it for your needs. Thank you for watching this tutorial. This is Igor Rijanovic from hdhead.com.